You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have what is now becoming a familiar face to Greater Brockton, Paul Angle, our new library director. I can't say new no, for too much longer. <laughs> We're hitting the six month mark, okay? But you're, it's, it's like when they talk about cars, new to you, yeah, right? Exactly. There you I go. still have that new director smell. You do. There, you, there <laughs> you go. There you go. So, all sorts of things happening at Brockton Public Library. And one thing I'll again commend you and the staff for doing is putting them out there. They're all up on Facebook. Yes. We have Event Keeper, which is the calendar that's attached to the website. But people know about the events now. Yeah. In, in the past, we did great events, but they were a well-kept secret. So I'm glad you're here. Well, I'm, I'm glad to be here. And the attendance is going up. You know, we're seeing more people come to the events, and uh, that's what we want. I see a lot of likes. I see a lot of shares mm -hmm. on the Facebook. I think Facebook is good. I'm, I'm not a Facebook is evil type of guy. I think that's how I find out about the majority of the events that are going on in Brockton these days. And, and so, we're also tweeting out events, too. So There you go. I'm not as much of a Twitter yeah, I don't, I don't really whatever do you call it, but <laughs> but, but um, you know we'll we'll leave that to the president. How's that? So June third, which June is uh, Saturday, I believe. That's a Saturday. Okay, that is the same day as Brockton High graduation. But you have a great speaker, someone I've heard before, who's written books and done lectures. Yes. Who is it? Dr. Gary Highlander will be uh, on, on site. He's a uh, he's a historian, and he is presenting three uh, a three part series on John F. Kennedy and his life and times. Uh, the first one is going to be, like I said, on June 3rd. Uh, it's in the Driscoll Art Gallery, which is upstairs on mm -hmm. the top floor, from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. And the presentation is going to be on JFK's The Election of, of John F. Kennedy. Wow. Yeah. Well, you just made my day because we have graduation <laughs> that day, and I'm going to barely get back in time for that. I have an event to cover at night. Mm. Uh, my crew's going to do the graduation, so I might actually be able to sneak in for that one. I hope so you that can. is very cool. Yeah. So that's the third Saturday, June third, and you said three thirty to four thirty yep. upstairs in the Driscoll yep. Art Gallery, and there is an elevator. So if you can't walk up the stairs, yes, it's handicapped accessible. Fully, fully, uh, fully handicapped accessible. We made that point a long time ago, and luckily uh, the late Senator Tom Kennedy was the one that helped us to get there because right. he couldn't get in the library. That's right. And uh, at some point, we'll have some news on an event to uh, rededicate. Kate and name. It'll still be Brockton Public Library, but it'll be Thomas P. Kennedy Branch. I know. I look okay. forward to that. So we're looking forward to that, too. Go to June 6th, which would be, I'm thinking third. I'm doing my math. That's a for, Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. Yep. What's the next event? So June 6th, um, we are doing to take our maker space, which I talked about the last time I was here, which is a, a place where you can go and explore technology and, and um, uh, area for any age group, uh, but we're taking the makerspace out of the makerspace room. We're going to move it into the Driscoll Gallery again mm -hmm. upstairs, yeah. and we're going to do what's called a uh, Blinky Robot Badge Soldering Workshop. Uh, it sounds like fun, so that basically participants are going to get together and they're going to solder um, together with their, uh, their own battery-powered badge. Oh, wow. So it's a little bit of uh, uh, teaching people how to solder, you know, getting into the electronics aspect of it. So that would probably be Pat Monteith's that's, yeah, that's husband? Pat. Yeah, that's probably Pat Monteith's husband. Okay, because I saw him there with the soldering That's iron, right. And yep. hopefully there aren't any sprinkler heads right above them. Because <laughs> uh, we learned that lesson here in this building at one point. It was quite the... Well, then the, I'm going to make sure. Our, our friends from the fire department, which are right at Station 1 around the corner, have visited us many a time. You know that door you came in? Yeah, yeah. That door right there? Yeah. I call it the cone of silence. You'll remember that from Get Smart. Yes. That's the only place in the building we can solder without the sprinklers <laughs> going on. So well, just, he was soldering in that in the Driscoll Gallery yeah. on, the, on the open. I day, think he so was. So I think I think, we'll I think right. you're safe. So that sounds like a lot of fun. What time is that? Uh, that is going on Tuesday evening. Okay. Um, I think it's going to start around five or six. It's okay. usually the time the makerspace opens. But there'll be a Facebook about it. It'll there's, be up on the uh, on the Brockton Public Library dot org website. Right. And it'll be on Facebook, and Facebook as well. Yeah. Okay, so that's June sixth. Then we go to the tenth, right? Tenth, yep. Uh, on the tenth, um, uh, Paula Jones is running a Brockton Public Library book group, and this she does these all the time. But this this one is, is an interesting book for me. It's it's called The Civil Wars of Julia Ward Howe, by Elaine Showalter, and um, it's just right up my alley as far as my my history uh, uh, history bent towards the Civil War and the Reconstruction era. So. And the Civil War is a hot topic right now. It is. Uh, don't, don't, don't forget we have some people that have long since deceased that uh, keep coming up in common vernacular, <laughs> okay? 
um, <laughs> Civil War. That's great. Book group. Um, there are certain people that are buffs on certain things, mm -hmm. certain wars. You know, yep. World War One, World War Two, Civil War, Vietnam War, whatever. Um, I think that's great. Um, Camp Pelo Pop Up Village. I had people on this show. I had two different segments I, about I it. I'm going to have a third. But I heard our library is going to be there. It is, Mark. Um, and you know what's even better is 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 can, we're doing the pop up village. Uh, of course, Lynn Smith drafted me for this. Uh, maybe the first week I was here. Mm -hmm. um, but I've enlisted the aid of my my lovely daughters Ella and Amelia to create the posters for it. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to do that. It's library uh, volunteer work. And they are also the the real catch is they are going to be at the pop up village uh, with me. So. So um, the, the, the much better part of my, my existence will, will be working on this and, and also presenting And if you me. know library history and Brockton history, our library, our original building, was right before 1917. That's right. It, at 12, 13, I always get them slightly mixed up. The cornerstone says one thing, right. and then you opened afterwards. Andrew Carnegie himself That's right. gave money for the Brockton Public Library. It was a beautiful building. It still it is. It still is a beautiful building. And but it had closed stacks. So back in That's 2001, right. we opened it all up and did the atrium and added on the addition. But the 1917 version, that library was state of the art. Yes, it was. Okay, and it is again. And it was funny because Carnegie actually preferred to build open stack libraries. This, yeah. this is kind of, it was a rare bird for a Carnegie library. Because of the land, because there was a building behind it. There's a whole history yeah. of that. We, you, we're gonna find, we, 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 we gotta time it right so at some point we have a celebration, an anniversary year for the library, yeah. and we can roll that out. It had an auditorium. That's right. We had to kill that off when we did the addition. But um, the circ desk, the tiles, if you look at the tiles real closely in the main lobby, some Italian tile maker probably hand laid that floor yep. from scratch, yes. and it had great uh, woodworking, mm -hmm. and it, it, it's a, it's a, it's still a magnificent structure. It really is, and some I, like the the, the uh, marble at the Cirque desk was in in the old Carnegie building. Yeah, exactly. So we put it all back to good use, yep. and and now we'll do even more with it. So. Tell us all the basics, the website, the phone okay. number, <laughs> all the stuff you want people to know, and I think we have uh, just under two minutes. Okay, well, the basics. So uh, uh, the website is library, brocktonpubliclibrary.org, www.brocktonpubliclibrary.org. The phone number is 508-580-7890, and what are their basics? Do you, um, you have a Facebook page. We have a Facebook a... page, Brockton Public Library Facebook page. Please like us on the Facebook page. We also have a Twitter account, Brockton Public Library Twitter account. Um, That's good. Those are the basics. Um, good staff of people that want to help people in the community. We have wonderful children's programs. Oh, sure. Okay, full disclosure, again, I'm on the <laughs> library board. That was my first job. I love the Brockton <laughs> you, Public You library. are a library geek. Okay, I'm a library <laughs> geek. There you go. And, and last weekend, I crossed foreign territory, went over to Sharon, and got like four boxes of books. Oh, they, cool. they have a three-day book sale, oh. and if you're a member, you get to go the night before. So it's amazing. Nice. So we do that on an everyday basis because there's a gift shop. Mm -hmm. uh, Counselor Ann Beauregard yeah. is the, you know, the behind-the-scenes person that does all of that stuff with some other volunteers with yeah. our partner, Brockton Library That's Foundation. Right. And, and, and Ann also uh, 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 fills the uh, mobile book uh, drops that are around that uh, Lynn Smith has created. The little libraries. The little libraries. There you go. Yep. So, so hands plugged into All that about too. libraries and all about books. Paul, thanks. We'll have you back and Mark. we'll finish up June and then go into the summer. All right, sir. Thank okay, you. Thank you. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.